Paula Sainopoulos isn't used to the star treatment, but on this day, she's getting it. It looks so much healthier now. Some extra ammunition for a soldier and new mom who's been out of work for a year. You look and you look and eventually you just start seeing some of the same things over and over, same companies, same jobs, um, and you just kind of get stuck in that hole, it seems. So. Hoping to give her and more than 1,500 unemployed vets a leg up in a tight job market, the aircraft carrier The Intrepid was transformed into a jobs fair with over 100 companies from high tech to Wall Street and a mess hall turned beauty salon with the overall goal boosting self-esteem and... The confidence to ask for six figures at least. <laughs> <laughs> Erica Sanchez, mom to a one-month-old, wanted to help. Her Marine husband is currently overseas. As a military wife, you know, it's really nice to give back to those that have either served for us, that are currently serving, or here now looking for the next chapter in their life. The man behind these makeovers, Christopher Gamper Craybaugh. Christopher owns a salon in New York City, so he knew exactly what he could give some of the veterans who have been pounding the pavement for months. There is no second chance at a first impression. And when they walk up to that uh, company's uh, kiosk and they go in to interview, I want them to feel like they're putting their best foot forward. After all the primping and propping, the makeup and the hair. I'm happy and I'm excited about it. Paula says she feels 100 times more confident than when she first arrived. Confidence is back, and in, I think that's very important when you're looking for work. Now she hopes some future employers will take notice. For iVillage, I'm Kelly Wallace.